Hello guys and welcome back. We are here for the third match of the evening. Sorry that we missed a little bit of the the plane ride. I had a thing I had to take care of, but we do see the flight path already. Um as we do see that uh if not mistaken, this is um Tato Squad deciding to go to Los Higos. Uh Los Leones is currently occupied by Mineski and uh I think this is PNC 5 peaks a little bit spread out here at the moment. Uh, Red Sea opting to go for the southern region over here. Mavzi a little bit uh, close to the Mineski. Not Mineski, MSK Poseidon, my apologies. And uh, we do here see Frostfire going to down to Puerto Paraiso. So looking at the circle, it is reasonably central here. Uh, we do see a lot of the teams actually Deciding to go to the northern part, Gum Esports, together with Geek Fam, as well as L Dogs over here. Uh, now, there's a lot of rotations going through uh, Minas Generales, so um, Mista trying to do what they can. Unexpected getting uh, a roadkill on Momon G, so that's unfortunate for Z Gods uh, early in this game here. As uh, all these teams are trying to get all the vehicles that they can here, and uh, unfortunately, there's not a lot of trees here that you can hide behind. Uh, to make the rotation um, meaningful as possible. Uh, we do see Squad 9, uh, Dog Z, moving up through here. Nobby also getting a, a roadkill, and uh, it really did not see God's day on Miramar so far, as they uh, take a lot of early hits here. Acoustic also coming out for extents, getting the knock here, uh, and confirming the kill. So Jonathan deciding to bug out here and not willing to... Uh, fight here much longer and pizza after sex goes down and that is it for uh, DPT so a very um, early game for them unfortunately and uh, Night Sabis also gets a road kill for Dog Z so um, extends also on the receiving end of some road kill action here. Geefam going for Campo Militar one of their um, usual spots I would say based on what we've seen so far in our games on Scrim City and um, we do see Mineski deciding to go for San Martin. No teams have actually gone for Picado here. I'm maybe overthinking it a little bit too much in their um, their strategies for the early game here. Now, Los Leones, this central part here is taken by uh, MSK Poseidon. Resurgence also opting to drop into Los Leones in the southern region. Uh, where there's some warehouses and some high high flyers, but Natsabe is after running someone over, he accidentally knocks himself out as well. So a little bit of a disaster for in that sense. Um, but that's PUBG, right? So who's the veil? We do have here Dog Z as well as the, the surviving team members of uh, Snow Templar after Kayo went down early on as well. Stents. So they're going to take the western, the eastern side of Cruz de Vale. And uh, Mineski is solidifying their position here in San Martin unopposed. Uh, they managed to secure some early vehicles as well to help with their rotations later on. Now, you might expect to see maybe some teams try deciding to go, go to Picado, but again, they might overthink it a little bit too much and not actually know that there's no one there. Mr. Unopposed around Minas Generales here, as they have a decent position, they might act as gatekeeper for some of the northern teams in this uh, in this game. So we have to see how they want to go about this one. Okay, now we do see here that Dog Z are deciding to roll past uh, Team CR here, so Axo Air is in a little bit of trouble. It looks as though he spun out a little bit under the intense fire here, but uh, not enough connections here from CR. The vehicle is almost down though. Uh, he's gonna have to bail out, and Axo is uh, taken down by Long T, who's still on the high ground there. Uh, his vehicle goes flying. It's pretty much gonna burst in flames, and that's gonna be another. Um, Casualty for extents early on in this game. So not going exactly to plan so far, especially with all these uh, spaced out drops here, just trying to get as much coverage because the, the number of buildings here in Los, 
in um, Miramar in general is quite numerous and uh, offers a lot of possibilities for the, these types of uh, looting phases as well for, for the teams, but at the same time, it's not without risk. You're going to have to face the gauntlet sometimes as uh, some of these teams are in a bit higher concentration than others and able to snipe you as you make your rotation. Or at least just try and find a place to loot, it would seem. So now the circle is going to start moving very soon and the teams are going to have to decide whether or not they actually want to stay um, their current positions for much longer. So likely we see uh, teams like Geekfam actually uh, come down Data Squad. Apologies, I had. But yeah, we're okay now. So, um, Mavzi, the last guy for DPT. Oh, so DPT, sorry, is still in the game. Um, I thought that they were eliminated earlier on. My mistake. Um, so, yeah, we do have uh, Mr. having reconvened and starting to uh, chase him away a little bit here. Now, looks like we have our one of our first uh, loot crates of the of this round. Let's see what they managed to find here. So uh, might not be anything too good as uh, we don't see any gear here, but it might be it's one of the other Frostfire guys who managed to pick something up in that instance. So Geek Fam was going to have to start making them. They do have the vehicles at their disposal, so should be okay. Um, see here, Dogzy having uh, still the three of their players up, despite the early loss that they incurred uh, in Cruise Veil. But they are probably going to make their move soon. Gum is also going to have to move uh, substantially from Torre. Um, now, the other side of the map, Potato Squad is the only team here. They have gone from Los Higos all the way to Valle del Mar to try and offer as much uh, possibilities as the game goes on. Now, we do see a lot of the, the teams starting to take up their, their respective positions. Now, uh, squad number 10, this is under W Club. Under W Club, having uh, moved out all the way to the northern part of uh, Los Leones here. And uh, there's more misery as O'Connor gets knocked down by Mista as he tries to make his way past this location here. So that's unfortunate. It doesn't. Z Gods is having a very good round here as they are uh, only left with one player left in their squad, if not. Yep, with Vinny left there in the distance on screen. So Blue Line is coming in. The teams from the north are starting to make their way down. Geek Fam is moving along here, but Iman is uh, also here for DPT on this side all by his lonesome. I'm not sure whether he's going to try and take a. Hot shots at Geek Fam as they try to take here. I'm trying to see what angle he can get on the bike, but it is going a little bit too quickly. So I'm just gonna see whether or not he can get any other shots on the guys who are still following here. But Savior deciding to change vehicle here, and it could be disastrous for him as Iman um, able to get some shots here. Iman also able to get shots on Modi, so disaster strikes for Geek Fam here as they're facing a ton of problems. And CR able to eliminate the players from L Dogs here. So unfortunate for them, they, they decided to change vehicle at the wrong moment here. And it looks as though that Jangs is going to have to do this all by himself. So it seems as though the other teams rotating here cj taking advantage of the um, the rotation coming out from snow templar so snow templar loses another player here as uh they try to make their way down from valley del mar so unfortunate for them and it does seem as though that the players that did get through are facing more fire this time from team cr but luckily philip only takes uh, a singular hit there so he will be able to get out okay Team CR will be taking their time here. I'm not sure whether they have any vehicles at their disposal, but they are inside the zone, so not too much of a problem for them. Now, meanwhile, we do see here that the one of the two team members that's up for DPT is uh, currently under a lot of scrutiny from um, the under W Club guys as they are moving in here uh, into this complex here. Now, 
Mob Z is going to have to play it carefully here. He doesn't want to get eliminated uh, unnecessarily, but the, they are moving together, all four of them together here. Mob Z trying to do the best that he can. He knocks down one, but unfortunately, gets taken out by the rest of the team members. So that's it for him, and only one player left for a DPT. Now we see that uh, Frostfire is still very much in uh, Porto Paraiso. So just trying to loot up what little bit that they can. They are still inside the zone, so still very much in their favor. And meanwhile, we do see all the teams converging very much on um, the area around Los Leones. MBT deciding to move up here. Uh, and they are actually quite close to MSK Poseidon. And uh, unfortunately, we're facing a little bit of technical so um i will have to start the game oh turns out we are more fortunate than we thought so that's great guys but maybe i spoke too soon so um hopefully we're not missing uh too much we'll get back into the game right away so please just bear bear with me but yeah, things are getting very congested in the Los Leones side of things. Um, MBT very close to MSK Poseidon here. We have to see whether or not um, it be too problematic or not for them. So, okay, guys, we are back, thankfully. So, oh, it looks as though Mineski deciding to rotate right here through uh, five peaks here, and they take some losses. Two, two of their players go down. Grizzom taking some hits himself uh, as uh, they try to move through here closer towards Los Leones. So they are being poached quite substantially in this uh, particular area here as the circle does converge even more so around Los Leones. Now, we do see here Mista also uh, facing issues here as they are uh, facing off with the other teams here. Um, MSK Poseidon as well as uh, Under W Club. So Under W Club are not doing themselves any favors. Um, knocking their own team member over in the car, but hopefully they should be in a good position. So Private Dumb in a little bit of a problem here as Voidless manages to get the knock on him. Now Ping Pong trying to move up and see what he can do. Um, his effort to stop things from deteriorating further. Oh, Grizzom also goes down here as uh, Jutsu able to, to get that uh, knock and they will confirm the kill. So Mineski down to one player only here uh, in these outskirts here. Western side of Los Leones here and uh, it seems as though things are still heating up for Mista as they are still facing off with um, MSK Poseidon. Private Dumb still not able to be saved by his teammates. He's probably going to bleed out at this rate here as the, they do have a very good high ground position, MSK Poseidon. And Paku Paku already getting the vehicle ready as they look to, to get out of here very soon. But CR is entering the fray here. And uh, it looks as though that we have uh, under W clubs Trying to rotate to try and catch the, the, the rotation coming from them here. Um, but see what it can do here. But it doesn't look good for Mista here as uh, MSK Poseidon not willing to let them go with a free pass here. Ping Pong taking a lot of hits. Paku Paku as well. Uh, they only have that mini bus available to them. While it does have a lot of HP, it does present itself with a um, difficult situation given the speed or the lack thereof. For that vehicle now Vinny here all by himself the last player left alive for a z gods here as he starts to face off with frostfire here so frostfire just taking their time they don't know how many players are in this compound here but as they get more information they will most likely start to press the the issue here now the remaining teams are starting to, to move inside here and we have to see whether or not they will be able to do anything Now, it does seem as though that um, MSK Poseidon is under the microscope here for from uh, under W Club as they start to advance on this position after they've been engaged in this fight with 
missed that for quite some time actually and um, they are looking to get into a better position the siding guys are a little bit separated here in this particular area and um, blue zone is encroaching it is going to make things difficult gum deciding to go all the way around inside the blue just to avoid uh, squad number three this is um, tnc five peaks on your screen and uh, seems as though mister can't really get out and soon the blue circle is going to be on them and make it increasingly difficult for them to to do anything so um, looking on the northeastern side of the circle we do see here that the two members from uh, extend singapore they are currently in a um sparring battle together with um team cr from vietnam decide but they're deciding to bug out here they are not in the best of positions they're just on the edge of the circle here uh, but it seems as though that the raptors um boys from india have actually started fighting with dog z here and there's a nice headshot on mad dog here so he's going to go down he does have the vehicle for some bit of cover here but the given the the minor spread that raptors has going here it's every chance that they should be able to put more fire but they deployed a smoke already so they should be able to save the team member uh without too many issues so um yeah we do see here that the the, squad, the remaining squad members from snow templars are trying to put some fire onto the team members rotating finally from mista now they managed to finally get out of that fight from uh, MSK Poseidon just because of the fact that Under W Club decided to press the issue. And now Fire Blaster has to abandon his his vehicle already as he faces pressure from the rest of them. Now even Raptors is going straight into the middle of Lost Leonis here. And uh, we do see here that there are a lot of singular teams here as uh, the last members from Geek Fam as well as Mineski are currently inside this building sharing together. But they're probably going to want to play for placement as much as they can here uh, given the situation that their teams are in now other teams are moving in here and it looks as though that they're moving towards tnc5 peaks raptors is in a lot of trouble here why so serious has had to abandon his vehicle here but hipster d has managed to get the knock on him and jutsu confirming the kill so it seems as though that now raptors has decided to um Hold up in this multi-story building in the center of Los Leones here and just wait and see what they can do. Fortunately, not able to save their team member. Now, everyone is converging even more as this blue zone is about to come in. Uh, Z Dogs having to be forced to push all the way around. And uh, all the way here in the southeastern part of uh, Los Leones, we do see that Crossfire has still. Uh, not move further than this location here they are still jostling with uh vinny the last player alive for z gods here now they're not in a rush given the position circle and uh more, more than happy to uh let this one pan out in due course now new circle is about to develop further over here and uh let's see what happens So yeah, it looks like it's going to be a super urban uh, fight here. And Jangs looks as though he's able to come out on top in that one-on-one uh, -on -one exchange there. So unfortunately, Mineski goes out in 18th position. But now the team members from uh, Potato Squad are starting to get involved here. They are shooting at Gum Esports who have made that long rotation all the way anti-clockwise in the blue zone so more but um it's still very long range and uh, there's a lot of chip damage now the good thing with the the fact that you do have the attrition and the damage to your armor and stuff there are plenty of opportunities to loot further excess armor that's present within the city here so teams could afford to be a bit uh more aggressive now frostfire does manage to finally finish off Vinny here and that is it for uh z gods in this game they go out in 17th position here now, uh, MSK Poseidon have reconvened onto one multi-story building here, which uh, offers a lot of cover and still putting pressure on Mister. It seems as though that they really have it out for them so far in this game. Now, Resurgence, we actually haven't talked about them that much so far this game. Now, they've been uh, very much within Los Leones here and avoiding, or rather, just not having uh, taken too many casualties. They still have um, three of their players up. Um, 
I'm not sure if they started with four or not, I must be honest. Uh, but at the moment, they are still okay. But A on WCS is a little bit separated here. And we are seeing that these teams that were spread out before, they are starting to converge, um, trying to offer as much opportunity as possible as Backtrack knocks out Hipster D here. So unfortunately, he goes down and uh, probably not something that he wanted to happen at this stage in the game here. Now, other teams are coming in. CR is moving in from the north here. And, uh, oh, it looks as though Voidless also taking a headshot from uh, OG Phillips. So I hope that multi-story does have another spare helmet. Otherwise, MSK Poseidon is going to be in a little bit of a pickle. But again, this is an urban fight where it's a high loot environment. So more likely than not, they will be okay for the time being. Now, everyone is starting to converge. And uh, Crescenia goes down after being knocked on top of the, the multi-story here. So he has to watch out that he won't get third party by some other squad that has a good high ground position here. But Z-Gods are moving in close towards uh, where boys from uh, Vietnam are under W Club. Um, but currently they don't have a line of sight of them and they are currently uh, pressing up there. And Dole is currently looking in the northern direction here. So might not be able to see them coming. CJ flanking on the other side. Now... We do see here MBT is separated. They are doing a 2-2 split here. Whether or not that it becomes um, successful, we have to wait and see what happens. And uh, yeah, it does look as though that PUBG is doing its thing again. So um, I do apologize. So we're going to have to start. Yeah, things are heating up. Um, I think like that that two two split that we saw that that's like one of the very few that we actually see on going on here. Given the fact that the the cluster building the the building density is just so great in Los Leones that it just makes it very difficult to cover your other two squad members should they be advanced upon by someone else. So I think that's why we're seeing most of the teams here all like really deciding to merge together and. Uh, at the same time, still trying to cover as many angles as they can, but it's going to be increasingly difficult as we move into the more claustrophobic areas of Los Leones. So yeah, we will be back inside the game very soon, guys. So again, I apologize. Um, game crash. But we will be back into the action uh, very soon. Okay, and the next circle is still very, very central here in this position here. And uh, we do see here that this is uh, TNC Five Peaks trying to, to, to do their thing as much as uh, possible. Uh, but unfortunately, Brax goes down to Frostfire. Frostfire now moving into Los Leones, and Aeon WCS and Quadro are a little bit separated here for a resurgence, you know, making things that much more difficult. But otherwise, the teams are very much holding into the, the various buildings that they have uh, available to them at the present moment. Sorry, had to deal with some technical issue. Uh, but yeah, we do see here that the last player for DPT is uh, moving close to the players from Crossfire here who are just staying on the edge of the circle. So far, they have been doing this strategy for the last two games and so far it's been working out well for them. They managed to secure the chicken dinner in the last game and they came second in the first game. So... Um, Seems to be paying off so far based on the, the teams that there are available here. And uh, it looks as though that MBT really uh, going at it together with the, the team from uh, Philippines Mista here. And uh, heavy casualties going on as uh, Nubi tries to come around but he goes down. Fire Blaster coming in and um, putting the finishing touches there. So he's he should be able to get the res off but they took a lot of casualties um, that exchange.
Now, the circle is almost finished contracting here. Z Dogs are going to have to move in. It seems as though Frostfire does have uh, their position under scrutiny here as uh, they are looking to put more fire there. But uh, TJ and Unexpected just trying to loot up what body that they have there. But I'm not sure if they are exactly aware where the crossfire guys are and we we're able to see Yongwei able to get the knock on CJ and um, Elliot able to confirm the kill for Frostfire. So down to two players now for Dog Z, so they're in a little bit of a pickle, but it should be okay. Now, Circle is constricting further. So, oh, that hard shift up to the northwest is really uh, not what the most of these teams needed here as it's going to prove to be even more difficult moving forward uh, as uh, all these teams are going to have to funnel through the same area and we do see here that MSK Poseidon recognizes that they are moving straight away into the next multi-story here and hopefully act as gatekeeper for um, the potato squad guys here but um, unexpected and uh, the rest of Z-Dogs here um, currently just trying to do what they can um, with the fire coming from the concrete building which Frostfire is currently occupying Now, oh, it looks as though that rota further rotation from um, under W Club is, is met by the two remaining players from Extents. Um, now, Extents deploying all the utility they have left. They have to move very quickly here uh, as these teams are like moving within a very close proximity to each other. Raptor here is on the edge of the circle. They are going to see whether they can pick off any of these teams as they start to come in here as things get increasingly congested. Now, uh, we do know that uh, Mista is actually still alive. They managed to find a, a, a place to occupy um, without having too many issues here. But uh, it seems as though Mad Dog is stuck out in the open or in the blue. And that is it. Rather dying to the blue than give points to Frostfire. Who are chalking them up. They have four kills already in this game to build on their good totals from uh, the first two rounds. Where they came second and first respectively. Um, so MSK Poseidon. Trying to do what they can from this multi-story. Still four men strong and four kills in the bag. So that is it, unfortunately, for uh, Geek Fam as Jangs gets eliminated by the blue zone here. And he, Geek Fam goes out in 12th position here. So all the teams are very much converging here. They are very much in close proximity. I think this next circle is going to see a number of these teams eliminated in very... Uh, quick fashion here as we do see Mista is being assaulted by Team CR. Team CR occupying the downstairs um, uh, areas of this multi-story building and they're looking to evict the occupants as they have overstayed their welcome. Um, now Quadro here in a bit of trouble as he's been spotted but he managed to get a, a frag on one of the players from Potato Squad but he has to contend with two more here. Um, but he should be able to get off the heel here and uh, given the fact that there's a little bit of passivity here for Potato Squad. They uh, It should be okay as he deploys some smoke to try and get out here. Crescenia, here's the commotion ongoing and he decides to break away from the rest of MSK Poseidon here. And he gets a sight of Quadro here, able to get the knock on, on him. So uh, he's a, not able to confirm the kill though as uh, the Potato Squad guy is able to steal that away from him. Um, now A on WCS also able to get his own knock on uh, one of the guys from Raptor, uh, but he is in a, a bit of trouble. He is stuck in the blue. He's just trying to use all the meds that he has available and uh, that circle is in favor of MBT right now here and uh, it, Poseidon is starting to converge here. They want to take this fight here and eliminate this squad here before they have to make their uh, rotation inside the circle where it's going to be even more problematic for them. Now they are moving up carefully they are trying to clear building by building but Crescenia goes down here as uh josh tries to come in and see what he can do as uh the smokes are really making the advance difficult here and josh runs into a hail of bullets here uh and uh he gets eliminated straight away so other teams are making their way in here the the two team members from mista still occupying the this building they do hear the the rotation coming in from the team CR. Now that's it for AMWCS. He meets a grenade right, right there, and um, now Poseidon are starting to make their move. The the blue zone is moving in here, and it looks as though this disaster for uh, Extensas. They get eliminated through that firefight with Raptor. So Raptor 
uh, now with seven kills to their name. So they're putting in a, a, a good round here, but they need to move further here. They're not safe. They still got to contend with the, the boys from Under W Club who are just really trying to put as much pressure as they can on the le one of the few players from Mista. So Fire Blaster is going to be stuck out there in the blue and he's going to be in a lot of trouble. So Voidless trying to move in but he gets nailed by uh, Mr. Wick from uh, TNC Five Peaks. So now we do see additional rotations here right through uh, Frostfire. So Frostfire uh, trying to manage the situation the best that they can. Now they do hear the, the Potato Squad uh, player here and they're able to knock them down and eliminate them from the rest of this game. So Frostfire is still able to be consistent here but now it looks as though that Fire Blaster able to get a knock on despite being outnumbered on the team members from Under W Club. Uh, they are down to two players up. They still can get the res off on their player but they are right next to uh, the players from, from uh, Raptor here as they are just trying to stay alive. The blue zone is moving in and they are facing issues here. Uh, they do have, there is the full squad of um, TNC Five Peaks and it looks as though that uh, casualties are starting to happen for um, Frostfire, but the circle, next circle has uh, revealed itself and it's uh, very much favoring MBT as well as Team CR. The other teams are all gonna have to make that mad dash in here. So CR just trying to solidify their position inside that multi-story here. And Raptor able to come out. Big Arp is able to get another two uh, knocks and confirm the kill on on the under W Club. So under W Club is starting to hit back here as they uh, able to get the final frags there through Baotran. So Baotran getting a couple kills and ending um, Raptor's uh, successful and high kill run in so far in this game here. But the four man st strong squad of uh, TNC Five Peaks has moved into this complex here. They are right next to um, Team CR in the adjacent building as uh, the other teams are starting to, to make their move here. Now things are becoming increasingly chaotic here as we see that there are players everywhere here. Uh, the players from TNC Five Peaks moving in and eliminating all the advancing players from Frostfire. So Frostfire goes out in sixth position, not able to match their previous performances, but still going out in sixth position. Now, so now uh, it seems as though squad number 10 has been eliminated here as there are only four teams left remaining here. MBT in the multi-story above the, the boys from Philippines, TNC Five Peaks, and the three players from um, CR coming in here, Fire Blaster able to knock down Jutsu here, but uh, he's gonna have to heal pretty soon here as uh, Paku Paku's already down, and that is it actually for for the, these players from uh, yeah, no, Mista from Philippines. Sorry. So yes, now we have only three teams left here. They are right next to each other in these two multi-story buildings here, and. MBT is going to stay as quiet as possible as they want to let these these teams duke it out as much as possible. They're trading blows here. LSTR trying to flank around the side here as he tries to go in here. The res is trying to be uh, pulled off by Atun here behind the counter, but he, LSTR doesn't see him. He he doesn't know it, and then he sees the Atun pop his head out there, and but he's not able to get him, and Atun able to get the knock on LSTR in that instance, but the um, they still have three men strong, the, the boys from Philippines, as um, TNC Five Peaks are trying to start focusing on the other team members of, of Team CR. Uh, as Rito goes down, Atun is trying to heal, Ang is needs to heal, and uh, he's facing off again. And it really looks very dire for them. MBT the whole while is waiting for the fight to finish before they start to engage here. And... Uh, after all, they do have that nice position in the high ground here. 12 kills so far from TNC 5 Peaks, so looking good for them. And Asmix comes into the mix here as he tries to uh, make life difficult uh, as he gets that elimination on uh, TNC 5 Peaks. But now it's a 3 on 3 battle between uh, CR and. Oh, and Asmix able to get Atun down as well, so CR in a lot of trouble here. Uh, Rito and. Uh, Ang trying to just hold the fort as much as they can. Ang able to get LSTR down and out here. So we are in for a, a two on two on two battle here, guys. And uh, things are becoming increasingly uh, dire here. 
as uh, Asmix is the only player left up for in the or rather he's in the highest tier together with Tyler they are the only ones in that building and uh, there's going to be a close quarters battle erupting at any point in time here as uh, Team CR is looking to maintain that high ground now this is the final circle guys so it is going to collapse on itself and these guys are going to have to move for that most central point now it doesn't look as though that after taking those two losses TNC five peaks wants to uh, take that uh, daring leap and actually climbing up the stairs here um, which could be very detrimental for their aspirations as this game goes on here now it's not going to be too long for the the zone collapses I think the timer not technically zero but we will know soon when the blue zone is going to constrict but yeah these teams don't want to make a mistake here in this instance I'm trying to get uh, a better angle here and uh, see whether he can catch Jutsu if he creeps a little bit more around the side I don't think that they want to risk it too much so he's stay there just in case he hears anyone walk past and it's one minute before the zone starts collapsing in on itself so these teams are going to have to decide what they want to do not sure they know exactly how many teams are left alive in this instance Asmix and Tyler do have the high ground here. They can afford to uh, stay easy. They don't have to worry about another team being the um, same building as them. But Ang is looking as though uh, he's going to get the drop on Jatsu here. Oh, but he's not able to aim straight down. So Jatsu able to get inside the building here. And he gets elimination on Ang. So uh, Ang unfortunately leaving Rito all by himself. So Rito is uh, again uh, retreating back to the awning over here try and do the best that he can but Asmix uh, getting into the fray here uh, he knocks down Jatsu so now it's effectively a one on one on one but um, uh, Mr. Wick is going to try and get Jatsu up here if he does that then TNC 5 piece is going to be in a fantastic position the circle is dead center here the circle is collapsing 1 minute 15 seconds before the end of the collapse so Tyler is still very much watching the, the edge of the stairs here and, uh, oh, Mr. Wick gets un into the, the sights of, of Rito here. Now, Rito just trying to see whether he can get those opportunistic uh, knocks. But he is forced into position. And Tyler able to take advantage of the situation here. As uh, Tyler is the last person left alive for MBT. And uh, he has to stop the onslaught coming from uh, TNC Five Peaks here. But the question is, is... Um, he will be the first to be hit by the zone here, uh, given the fact that they are the people from uh, TNC Five Peaks are very central and won't have to worry too much. They are they have a lot of flexibility here, and they have the numerical advantage. Two on one situation here, and that is it. So Mr. Wick able to confirm the kill on Tyler there, and they turned out. 15 kills in that round if not mistaken that is the highest kill total for a single team um, that we've seen so far so that is it for round number three guys so tnc five peaks able to step their game up and turn in the, the huge kill total 15 kills to their name and uh, that was a very tricky situation two on two on two situation right at the end there and uh, we did see that mbt did manage to get their strongest result of the the evening so far with five kills and main, managing to make it into second place as Tyler was able to put the finishing touches on long T uh, from Team CR who also managed to sneak in there right at the end but yeah it was a it was a mad dash for these couple of buildings that was inside that final circle it was urban combat for the last four four circles plus so that was quite quite an interesting game if i must say so so congratulations to tnc five peaks on getting their first chicken dinner of the evening can they add to that total so um that's it for this round guys you're watching the PUBG southeast asia scream city uh matches and uh this is play of the j and we shall be right back for the final round on miramar for the evening please do stay tuned